El Ala S. Caesar Achilam captured on Saturday arrived at Inzara UPDF command base aboard a military chopper. Soldiers at the base struggled to get a glance of the captive as others took a picture of him, perhaps to remind themselves of this memorable achievement. Major General Caesar Achilam was captured on Saturday at Timbo River along the Diara Kong and Central African Republic border as he reported they tried to find his way to UPDF camps. For me, I knew I was really coming out and anything could happen. We could meet, there could be action of fire, we could meet, then we could, you know, uh, interact and come to a good conclusion. So, for me, there was no fear. And when we met, also, I knew already I was in the hands of the UPDF. Walking with a limp supported by a stick, Achilam denied that he was injured during his capture. An old bullet wound. An old bullet wound. An old bullet wound. This was, was in, in, in 2002, the beginning of the Operation Iron Fist. So during the firefight, he actually surrendered. And he, as you heard his statement, if, that if I had not fired, maybe they would not have fired at me, because they were the first to fire. The 50-year-old Major General says the atrocities committed on the people of northern Uganda deprived them of their rights, but is not sorry for the crimes committed during the 20-year insurgency. So the people of northern Uganda were deprived of their what? Of their humanity. So it was really not something good for, for them. When I came to understand some uh, military traditions, they talk of that uh, in the, the art of war, the, the word story does not much exist. This is what I, I learned. It is the law indeed, and uh, the implementers of the law are the Amnesty Commission, and the, the, the political leadership. Following his hospitable reception by the UPDF, the former chief of intelligence in the LRA ranks is now calling upon his colleagues in the jungles to give up fighting. This time I feel free, though I've not yet much relaxed, but I feel okay. There's no fear. I know the UPDF did not do any harm to me when we, we met there, we, we encountered each other there, and here, they are okay. You see, you can't even detect from eyes. So ever since I met this guy yesterday, it really greatly encouraged me. And the UPDF believes his capture is a milestone in ending the 20-year-old rebellion. This is a big fish. For Caesar to be in our hands, it has a, lo a big statement in as far as our efforts to end this rebellion. As for now, Achiram will be kept at the Nzara UPDF command base as he undergoes medical checkup before he is transferred to Kampala. Julius Senkandwa, NTV.